Hi guys, welcome back. So I'm doing this tutorial today with better length clip-ins and these clip-ins are very very soft and they're like a light yakky texture. They match my relaxed hair very very perfectly. So to start this tutorial off, I'm just going to start by parting a little section in the back of my head. Um, this section don't have to be neat at all, but you just want to clip the clip-ins uh, like facing a ponytail type of way, like the opposite way that you would usually do it. This way you'll get a seamless ponytail instead of like lumps and bumps and stuff like that. So that's the reason why I'm doing this. But the clippings are really, really strong so you don't have to worry about them going anywhere. Once you have that done, I just like to start on my next section, which I'm starting on now. And I don't put a lot of clippings in my hair only because there's no really no need for it really. So I only have like six clippings in throughout my entire head. Not much at all. Um, but yeah, that's all I'm doing is just clipping all the clippings in my hair. Um, if you're not sure about how to do clippings, um, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just part your hair and put the clippings in. <laughs> that's all I can say. But yeah, um, now I'm just uh, directing the clippings uh, away from my face. I'm just really mimicking the way my hair naturally is. In the back, your hair will be going up. And in the front, your hair will be going back. So that's how you want to clip your clippings in for a seamless blend. And as you can see, the clippings are very, very nice. I love these clippings. They blend with my hair so nice. So yeah, no lumps, no bumps. So now you just want to put your hair in the top ponytail as high as you want, as low as you want. And then you want to take a bun warmer. You can find these anywhere. I found mine at the Beauty Supply for about a dollar. But yeah, I got the uh, 12 millimeter one, I believe, centimeter one, I believe. <laughs> It'll be in the description. But you just want to uh, put that over your ponytail like a, like a ponytail holder, I guess you would say. And then you want to comb your hair and your clippings over the uh, bun former. And you want to make sure that you have your hair evenly over it so you don't have any spaces where you can see the bun former. Um, this is very, very important because it would not look natural if you don't have that, um, if you don't cover them right. So now it's the easy part. You really just have to tuck the hair into the bun former. It's really easy, just tuck away. Um, you don't have to make your bun really perfect. That's one thing I always say in my tutorials. Don't try to get your hair perfect because I feel like the messier it looks, the prettier it looks, it's more effortless. But yeah, with this tutorial, you don't need any bobby pins whatsoever. I don't use bobby pins. You can if you want yours to be a bit more uh, secure, I would say, but I feel like mine is pretty secure as it is. But I like to spray a little bit of holding spray all over my hair to get rid of any flyaways or anything like that on the bun and on my hair, but that's pretty much it. Um, <laughs> it's really quick. I do this when I, and also, oh, uh, I just add a little bit of charms in it from time to time if I feel like it, if I don't, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> super, super simple tutorial. You guys love my bun tutorial, so I had to come and show you guys this easy one that I do when I just don't have anything else to do to my hair. And these clippings were awesome. They worked so good. So you guys have to go pick them up. Link in the description for these clippings. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it, you guys. I love you guys so much. And show me some love on my Instagram in the comments. Bye.